Chiki, it's your boy Fist in the his house. Bring another great edition of Black Ops 2 Radio, because that's what I do. E3. Amazing E3. You've heard some of the reasons why some of the publishers blew it. Why some of the publishers blew it out of the water. Why some of the consoles blew it out of the water. Big props to Sony for keeping uh, Xbox in line. You know, it's it's always good to have competition. I don't want people to think that, you know, I'm an Xbox fanboy or a PS fanboy or a Wii fanboy. It's good for all of us. It's good for us as gamers to have that balance out there. And if we didn't, it would probably be a lot worse from Xbox. So thankful for PS, uh, Sony and their presentation. I'm thankful for that. But I want to get on to uh, gaming from the Call of Duty standpoint, the franchise. There's a bunch of other games out there, and I will get on to. I, I did a huge, I did a long live stream yesterday, right after. If you were there, you you heard my feelings overall on everything. Uh, but the one thing I want to talk to, but this this video is like basically going out to Treyarch and David Von Der Haar and those guys. Uh, I'm looking at the new Ghost Call of Duty game, and I listened to, to like Mark Rubin and whatever his name is. And their storyline is just lame. I'm not gonna lie to you. They, you know, they were given the opportunity to make a whole new game in retrospect to the engine. I mean, they had a chance to do anything they they could have done with that engine, and they choose to make a spin-off, whatever, Call of Duty game with elite ghost dudes, whatever. It just seemed really lame to me. And so I tweeted out, if you're following me on Twitter, you followed, you see a bunch of this stuff where we talk, we talk back and forth about this stuff. And I tweeted out to David Vonderhaar, I thought it'd be cool, and I know a lot of people don't like him, and I've said a lot of bad things about him and good things in the past, but I thought this would be a great idea. And if he's listening, maybe they could brainstorm this idea. Now, why not just scrap the whole Black, and nobody's going to want to see Black Ops 3 or whatever. It's a boring storyline. It, the whole story is boring. The single player is boring. Everything is boring about Call of Duty right now. So why not tackle stuff that's in and what's going on right now? Right now, like our whole society in the United States is is you know we're in a tug of war with our own government over privacy and and secrecy and you know this whole. You know, government wanting to get stronger and bigger and taking more rights away from, you know, the people. And, you know, the um, uh, Fourth Amendment, the First Amendment, all these amendments in the Constitution. Uh, you know, this is for a great story, whether it's true or not. And it's a conspiracy. I mean, there's people coming out, um, whistleblowers. I mean, this is such great story writing. That you could scrap the whole Black Ops series and come out with a series, call it Call of Duty Patriots, the restoration of the Constitution. Basically, Civil War II in the United States. You call it Call of Duty Patriots, where you have this government who's just gone over the deep end and it's like over, you know, over powering because of the fact that they you know the reason the be the reason the whole story the premise is the reason the government is trying to take away your rights is because it can't control its spending and they know that the gross national uh, product or the gross national uh, debt is bigger than what they could pay and so the only way they could keep their entity alive is to take away the rights of the people and because they can't control the spending and people don't care to do anything about it and the spending is getting out of the control to where the dollar isn't worth anymore and it just this, the country just fails and and now the country fails the safeguard for the government to stay in power is that they took away the rights from the people so now you have this story that's awesome you know the, the debt went over the top you know nobody could eat everybody's starving the, the system breaks down you have this Civil War too, Call of Duty Patriots, where you have you know the people and the government, and they're trying to restore restore the con the Constitution. And you can have these battles, you know, like the rebels 
versus the government in, in every one of these iconic cities we have. And it would be an epic story. And then at the same time, because of this, the backstory to the zombies would be this. And this is where it even gets more epic. I mean, I'm writing some, I'm thinking of some awesome shit here. So then what you could do is you could turn around and uh, write a story to where, you know, um, there is no health care and it's just like all infested and everything like that. Then there's plague happens, right? And that is the backstory for zombies. And here is the best part of the whole thing. Instead of just having random zombies and killing zombies, 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 this shit's boring. What you do is, for the second game within the Call of Duty Patriots game, using the Call of Duty engine with the Patriots versus the government Civil War, restoring the Constitution, you would do this. You would have a you would have a open world field, an open world field with all of the maps that you've included into multiplayer into one big map and whatever how you would lace them together and it would be one big city or you I mean I probably couldn't do it but it's an idea you could do an extension of one map and make it one big city like choose one of the city like obviously in multiplayer you'd have like Detroit Los Angeles Chicago but so you couldn't put them all together but let's say you just pick one city like Detroit then you could have instead of just killing multiple zombies and it's really boring as hell You'd have a central staging point where in the city all the zombies and stuff are, are milling around. And then you'd have a 6v6 game where each team has to go inside the city and they just start out with like, you know, bats or knives or whatever. And they have to go inside the city to get resources to build up against the other team. And then, and then once you build up enough of stuff like your weapons, your armor and all that, you use the zombies and you can go through the zombies you could use the zombies to attack the other base and you attack each other and the last team standing wins and it's that's just the greatest idea ever it's almost like League of Legends but in first person open world gameplay where you have both teams and then then there would be skirmishes where you're fighting for the same resources in the middle and they're like oh I know where their base is at and it could be and you get to choose your base or whatever like you guys can vote in the beginning of the game where you want to choose your base and it'd be the opposite side of the other team so maybe like you have three spots that are preset but you get to vote on which one it is and the other team doesn't know and it's dark and the map's really big and maybe you send a scout out there and it shows up on the map but then you if you send him out there by himself he's just like hordes of zombies you don't know if he's gonna make it back and he dies you know, and you have a hardcore mode. Like if you die, you don't come back. Or and then you get the core mode where you know you could die and you you could do s s scouting and come back. And then you build up your resources. And if you want, you could fight each other in the middle within the zombies. Or you could like you know you maybe have some kind of loud device and you could bring the zombies into attack on the other person's base. You know, and um, use the zombies against the other team while you're attacking them as a diversion. This is this amazing. An amazing opportunity, and both stories tie into each other. Call of Duty Patriots, the, restore, the restoration of the Constitution. And this story could go on for like four or five games, and it'd be completely awesome. And then the zombies thing, the zombie idea I just gave you, standalone, you know, open world, first person shooter, League of Legends style uh, game, RPG, whatever, takeover. You know, that game would be sick. You know how awesome that would be? I would I would fucking that would be the best game ever made. I'm giving Treyarch the the golden advice here. I've given you how to change zombies, revamp zombies and make a storyline that pertains to today. It's organic. That means people can relate to it. There's some kind of truth to it. You know, it spooks people out. It's really, you know, creepy. And at the same note, it's real. So people can grip onto it and the story is like, wow. And, it, and then, you know, 
and then you could you could bounce that over to the zombies where you know because there's no health care there's no you know there's dead bodies laying around that this infection pops up and then all of a sudden there's the infestation of zombies you know some mutation of of you know sickness running around i mean it's perfect you get anything you could spawn it from some vial that was released from the cdc I mean, this stuff that's going on now, this Modern Warfare 3 Ghost is so dead. The story is so lame. And I really don't know what Treyarch's going to do. This story, you need something, Treyarch, you really, I mean, Black Ops 3 or whatever, what are you going to do? It's terrible. We need something to spice it up. I'm trying to save your series before it's completely ruined. Anyways, it's your boy Fist. I hope you liked my ideas for gaming. Until next time, peace. I'm out.